are you? I'm Craft with K, and of course in the room with me is Pickle, and in the building is Captain Bimble. Bimble! If you heard that, he said Bimble. So, um, I wanted to go over another tips and tricks thing that I forgot to mention in my previous video. And I finally have a lot of colour blocking that I can show you. So as you can see, I've done the checkerboard method with a multi-placer here, and I've done a single placer checkerboard here. Now what I wanted to show you is because sometimes, I don't know about anyone else, it's more so I think with squares, but when you do the checkerboard with, say, the multiplacer, after a while, you will sometimes find you have lines, or at least I do anyway. So you can see where they kind of joined up and where the gapping was. So what I wanted to do was show you what I do to kind of <clears throat> help stop any uh, lines from forming. Again, this is more so with squares than rounds, um, but then I mostly do do squares. This is just a rare round that I've uh, dug out to do. So, it's multiplacing with my multiplacer, obviously. And instead of uh, leaving the same size gap all the time, what I do is I go up in a diagonal and up one. And I'll zoom you in in a moment. I'm just going to do a couple. Then where I need to, if there's another colour. So, as you can see, I'm going up in a zigzag. And I will do this as much as I want to. I never really have any rhyme or reason for it. But I just find doing that is an easier way for me to go about doing the multiplacing and getting rid of uh, lines. Now what I tend to do is, on either side of it, so a four down, I will leave a four space gap. Because my placer is a, f is a four placer. And I will carry that on. Put three there, two there, and one here. I don't know if I'm explaining myself too well, but I'm hoping it'll become apparent with what I'm doing. But either way, shake up my drills. At the moment, I am slashing my stash, so I'm trying to. To all of my oldest kits that I've owned since I first kind of started. Hence why I'm doing the round. Pretty sure this one came from fan cells or something. I haven't bought anything off there in ages. Um, yeah, I'll go. I'll do that much. So you can see that I've still got a gap here, and I'll just keep doing that on either side as well. So if that's a four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. You just love it when they flick off. I really need to put some more wax in here, but yeah. Hey, sweetie, how are we doing? What are you doing? And there. Because then I find that if I do get lines. It's more of a diagonal instead of lots of obvious. Uh, I think, again, I find it more with squares than rounds with this. But this one I'm working on that has a lot of uh, colour blocking, so I thought I'd show you. Just the principle's the same. Or you might find you have more lines with your rounds. I don't know. I'm just saying what kind of works for me. And then I fill in, she says. But you know, but I wanted to add this on, so this will be a mini part two, as it were. And then I find it just fills in a bit smoother instead of whoop, instead of with the more obvious lines over here. Um, dark isn't necessarily the easiest colour to show it up on, but again, it happens to be the next kit that I've got a ton of multi-placing to do. So I thought I would just show you. 
Um, I hate using a single placer. So this bit was very tedious for me to do. But yeah, then you can just fill in however you want. Or mix it up, do a mix of this one, this one and this one. It's completely up to you. But like I said, going up in diagonals seems to work best for me to help get rid of lines. Don't know if this is helpful or not for you, but either way, have a lovely evening or day or whatever time zone you're in. And I'll see you later. Bye.